hello, hello. Time is to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my love. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable, because we about to make it do what it do love. This is a love channel. All we talk about is love over here. We do pick up on divine couples. We pick up on family, friends, and karmic energies at times. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a general timeless read, so when you see it, it reaches you. There is something possibly here for you. Collective energy, what's going on with your love lives? Collective energies in your love lives. I do need to jump. Okay, so there's someone here that's stressed. Um, they could be you could be arguing with this person. There could be a lot of tension between you and someone here, some type of turbulence. Or this is what someone is going through in their own situation right now. They could be having money problems. What does it say on here? Money. House payments. They just want to chill. <laughs> but they stress the hell out. They can't chill. So they want to scream. So whoever this is, they could be arguing and fighting with people around them, not necessarily you. This could be you guys. Uh, take it how it resonates for you. Let's get a couple more cards and see what's going on here. Yeah, so whoever this is that's stressed, they're broken here. They're shattered. They're heartbroken. They're feeling destroyed. Or this person shattered your heart. They destroyed you. Left you heartbroken here. And now they're stressed. Yep. This is somebody that came in and broke your heart. So this person broke your heart. Possibly destroyed you. Shattered you. Somebody you had a lot of feelings and emotions for. Now they're stressed out because they're dealing with a bunch of turbulence tension and arguments in their life in their surroundings this can be karma now they want to come toward you it says um begin is try again new direction start over now they want to come try and start over here with you after shattering you breaking your heart yeah now they want to come in and heal the situation with you healing releasing purifying cleansing i feel like this is something that you healed you got over the heartbreak. You, you've healed from whatever this shattered energy was. But I do feel like it took you a while. It took you a long time to get over this. This could have, like I said, literally damn near destroyed you. And now this person want to come back towards you. But they feel like you're going to be resistant. And, and I understand you being resistant because this person broke your heart. Yeah, breaking point. <laughs> you hit your limit. It was the final straw. You got to your breaking point when it came to this person. Overwhelmed. You were overwhelmed with this person and they bullshit. Their lies, their games. You were tired of crying. You were just done with it. You were over the bullshit. And now this person want to come back towards you. They caused you a lot of stress. But you're being silent when it comes to this person. No words at all. And this is what's causing this person stress. Because you're not talking to this person. You're not giving in to this person. Yeah, now they're realizing that they hurt you. They're realizing that they destroyed you. They're realizing that they shattered you. Because you have literally stonewalled this person. You've turned your back on this person. You're not giving any type of energy, any type of communication, nothing. And this person is now stressed the fuck out. But you found out some type of truth. And you healed. You finally seen the truth about this person. And you had enough. And you released. And then you took the time to do the work to heal yourself. Yeah, because you were exhausted. This person was depleting you, draining you. It was a long journey with this person. And you just got tired of chasing this person. You got tired of it. It was toxic. And I feel like you you didn't want to give up on this person. Or you didn't want to give up on this connection in the past, right? But you just had, you couldn't take it no more. You had enough. But I feel like this is somebody that was playing games with you. They were playing games with your emotions, with your feelings, in and out. Um, 
you know, telling you one thing, constantly moving fast, doing that shit. And it caused you a lot of stress. It broke your heart, but you healed from this. Now this person, because you have turned your back, because you're not talking, because you're not giving in to them, because you see the truth, maybe you realize this person was a narcissist. Maybe you've seen the games, but you finally had an epiphany when it comes to this connection that this is not what you wanted anymore. You're done. You're done giving to this. Now they want to come in and apologize. They want to beg for your forgiveness. They want to return. They want to say they're sorry. But no telling how long you put the energy into this connection. No telling how long you tried to make this work. No telling how long you, you gave this person the benefit of the doubt. Till enough was a fucking enough. And for a lot of you guys, I feel like it wasn't a short time. I feel like you really was giving this person the benefit of the doubt. And you just had enough. You depleted. You were drained. Yeah, now this person, I feel like they were giving you a bunch of illusions. This person was, was filling you with a bunch of illusions. This was an unbalanced connection. It was distorted. Karmic energy. And you just had enough. You were tired of it. And maybe your judgment was clouded in the past. Because you were loving this person. And you were trying to love this person through whatever the fuck they were going through. So you took a lot. You would have did anything for this person. Yeah, you took a lot of it from this person. So enough was just enough. A final straw. You, you couldn't take no more. Yeah. And this, this is why you were stressed. Because this person kept sending mixed signals. Like I said, one minute they were acting like they were into you. And then as soon as you started acting like you hey, you ready to give them, they would pull back. Block their emotions. The way they treated you was messed up. And it kept your heart in this fog. It kept you trapped in this illusion. This unbalanced connection. And this is what broke your heart. But it took you to find or remember your worth. For some of you guys, you had to find your worth. For others, you had to remember your worth. To walk away and say enough is enough. And you took the time to heal. And you have not been given to this person. Yeah, but now they want to come towards you here. Yeah, this person was conflicted. They had multiple choices and options. Like I said, they were hot and cold. Whoever this was... This person played a lot of fucking games. They were hot and cold. They were in and out. They sent mixed signals. You know, they were blocking their emotions. They threw a lot of illusions out. It was unbalanced. You was giving more of this connection than this person was. It caused you a lot of stress. It broke your heart. It broke your heart to walk away from this person. But you did. And you stood in your power. And you have not given in to this person. You, you have turned your back completely. And this is, I'm telling you. Driving this person crazy. Yeah, this is somebody that you have a past life with. Repeated pa patterns, karmic lessons. This could be a karmic that you've been dealing with. Maybe they didn't get the lesson in the past life. And they had to repeat the lesson in this life. Maybe you didn't get the lesson in the last life. But you got it in this one. You found your worth in this one. You've seen the toxicity for what it was. You were done chasing. Yeah, you were done with the confusion, the uncertainty person was unclear and unsure about what they wanted and you figured out exactly what you wanted it was not them you were done with the pain you healed this person was apprehensive afraid they were cautious and now they're obsessed infatuation adoration addiction now they're obsessed because you cut yourself off from this person yeah you're in the divine feminine energy yin feminine energy for sure now this person will do anything for you now they want to come back towards you and fix this because you're not talking. You have froze this person out. You're not. They thought you were going to, you know, give in. Eventually, you know, let your guard down. Eventually, allow them back in to your life. Eventually, and you haven't. You, you, as far as they're concerned, you stepped out of fucking character. Because you're no longer chasing them. You're no longer giving to them. Yeah, you're holding back. You're holding back. Even if you still love this person, you're holding back. And now this person feels like they made a mistake for not giving to you from playing games, for being in and out. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Yeah. <laughs> now you're running. Now you're running. So you ran from this connection... 
Now this person that was running in the past and you was chasing, they don't want to run anymore. But that's because you ran away. You ran away. Now they don't want to run no more. Now they want to come in and chase you. See, <laughs> you didn't want to chase no more. You were done chasing. Now this person don't want to run no more because you no longer chasing. They realize they made a mistake. I wish I could right my wrongs. Yeah, so this person could have been dealing with some type of responsibilities. I had to take care of my financial and emotional needs. So, um, they could have been focused on their money. They could have been focused on a connection that they had children in while they were back and forth. But they're, they're trying to say that they were focused on their financial and emotional needs while they couldn't give to this connection. And now they feel like they made a mistake. They missed out on an opportunity with you. They didn't act when they should have. They didn't act when they should have. And now they're afraid it's too late to take action. Now they're afraid it's too late. They've missed out on an opportunity with you here. Because you're not giving in. But this is somebody you have a soul tie with. And they always feel connected to you. Yeah, this person made you feel unappreciated. They made you feel like they didn't give a fuck about you. And that could have been what broke your heart or shattered you. Now this person is sitting back reflecting. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. The fact that you have not talked, you turned your back, has allowed this person to find clarity here. Your absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. And they want to come back and have this reunion. We will always come back to each other. Or at least they're hoping. They're hoping that you guys will come back to each other. Yeah, this person had a bunch of bad habits. It says, I don't know if I will ever change. And and this person felt like they were stuck in their ways. Okay, they felt like they couldn't change. But now that they're reflecting, they see the truth here. Yeah, and they want to come in and have a conversation with you. I want to call you and hear your voice. But they feel guilty. I feel pain for the damage I've caused. They feel guilty for how they hurt you. They daydream about you. They reminisce about you. Yeah. And now they want to come in and fulfill the soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. I am always longing for you. And I miss our inside jokes. Yeah. And now they're unsatisfied. I wasn't happy the way things were going. And this is why they know you walked away. And you needed your space. Because you were not happy with the way they were treating you. So you took your space. You took some time for yourself to think, to heal. And now they're in regret. I wish this never happened. They were dishonest. By lying, I ripped us apart. Now they want to come in and mend it. I want to fix our connection. But now they're confused because they, they were unclear about how they felt. Now they're unclear about where you stand. Now they're broken and shattered. The same way you were broken when you first walked away before you healed. Now they want reciprocity. I want to have an equal give and take. But you've detached from this person. You had to let this go so you could clear your mind. Now they want to come in and tell you the truth. Because they feel like you guys have unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. But they don't want to fight. I wish you understood how I felt. But they didn't understand how you felt. Now they realize you're irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. They feel like you're a part of their destiny. And they feel like they sabotaged this connection. They neglected you. And your love is inseparable. They made you feel unworthy. And they listened to gossip about you. And things did not go how they thought it was going to go. Things didn't go the way they were planned. And now they're overwhelmed. And the stress is draining them. And they, they want to come in and beg for your forgiveness. Because they're struggling to get over the past. And you over here focused on your self-love. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck. We will be together again. So they, they feel like you guys will be together again. At least they're hoping. They're hoping. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. What's the hidden truth? Yeah, they want you to know their life is not together as it seems. They're stressed the fuck out without you. 
And it says, I hear who I really am from you. They hear how they felt. They hear who they were. They ran. And now that you have turned your back, you're not talking. You're not giving in to them. You're not allowing them in your energy. They're losing their shit. Yeah, it's time for me to heal now. So now they're doing the work. Because they want to be able to come back towards you. But they can't come back towards you unless they heal. They want you to know they lost themselves for a little while. <laughs> now they're getting themselves back. Because they love you. And in the past, the time it just wasn't right. And they regret lying to you. But you were the best thing that ever happened to them in their life. Anything else? Yeah, because just being near you is intoxicating. They are afraid to contact you. Because they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid you're not going to talk to them. Because they know they messed up everything. I know I messed up everything. Now they want to come make it right, babies. Yeah, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. And they're starting to understand your connection. Okay. This one? Yeah, this person's coming back from the past. Six of Cups. They've been nostalgic. They're thinking about this connection. Thinking about what you had. Thinking about how it was a runner chaser. How you kept trying to give. And now that you're no longer giving to this connection. They're miserable without you. You told the person to come pick up their feelings. You was good here, collective. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Hide apart. Yeah, so this person is hoping for good news when they come towards you. They're trying to come up with a, a right idea or some type of bright idea to rush in. But they're coming in here first. They're not going to... Yeah, they want to get past the illusions, but they're being intuitively guided here with the moon. Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah, it's the emperor. They want to come in and be dependable. They want to stand in their authority, and now they want to build some type of structure here with you. Aries energy. Yeah, they're just unsure. World fortune in, in reverse. They've been dealing with some type of setbacks or bad luck. They had an upheaval. Yeah, things have not have not been working out in their favor since they have not been talking to you. They've been dealing with karma here. Four of Cups, yeah. They're in regret. They could be drinking if they drink. Or whatever vice they have, they're doing that. Hey, the ones, they want to reach out with communication. They want to come towards you. They're making rapid changes. You may get an actual letter in the mail. You may get an um, email or a DM, something in your in your messages here. But they're going to reach out. They're scared, but they are going to reach out. Yeah, the tower, upheaval, destruction, catastrophe. They've been going through a lot of upheaval. Things in their world have fell apart. Destruction, catastrophe here, setbacks. And they're dealing with a lot of anxiety, depression. They're feeling hopeless at this moment because they're realizing the choices they made were the wrong choices. Who can they run to when they need love? So they want to come back towards you single and stable, nine of coins, thriving, self-reliant, and offer you this brand new um, beginning here, ace of coins. They're hoping that you take this leap of faith with them. Have this new beginning, the fool. So they're coming towards you. They want to know is there a place for them. And there we go again. Six of cups. They want to come back from the past, baby. What's up under there? The two of cups. Because you guys have a mutual respect, a love, the quality, um, a, a soul connection, a bond, a friendship here. And they're not ready to let it go. Who is this read for? So first card out is Taurus. Who is this love read for? Or about Libra. Who is this read for or about? Who is this love read for or about? Who is this love read for or about? Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Who is this love read for or about? Scorpio, Gemini, 
Cancer. Who does love read for or about? Sagittarius. And we have Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, we have Capricorn. And let's do this deck here. When is this person going to reach out to the collective? When will there be communication between the collective and their person? Or this person? When will this person reach out? When will this person reach out? I heard she. And this bottom card, I keep trying to slide out my hand. I don't know if I take these. So y'all see how they all the way over there? I'm going to just look at them. I'm not going to take them because they didn't fly out. Huh. Okay. So I have Monday. So it could be today. Somebody can reach out to you today. And then I have four days, four weeks. That, those are the two that was um, stuck out. But what popped out for you guys is three weeks, three months. Gemini again. It's already here. So you can hear from this person in the next three weeks, no more than three months. For some of you guys, you can hear from this person in the next eight weeks. I don't think it's eight months, but I'll say eight months. Or on the eighth. Today is the eighth. The final one, I have 12 weeks, 12 months. So I don't feel like I don't feel like it's the 12 months. I don't feel like it's the eight months. At the most 12 weeks. So three weeks, three months. 12 weeks is three months, right? Yeah. So three months at the most. Anywhere from three weeks to three months. I have Friday at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so between now and 12 weeks, 3 months, same same amount of time here, guys, okay? Yeah. I had Wednesday, Thursday, I had 2 weeks. So, anywhere between the next 3 weeks and 3 months, or 3 weeks and 12 weeks, it's all the same. 3 months, 12 weeks. So, if it resonates for you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.